Hello everybody and welcome to Monday Kickoff. I've been spending quite a bit of time in my personal time with God in the book of Isaiah. And every day God speaks to my life through that prophet. I don't know what book you're reading or if you're into the word of God, I hope that you are. Because God has something to say to you each and every day. And one of the ways that God really speaks to me when I'm in his word is when I'm looking for ways to worship God or I'm looking to what the word reveals to me about God. And I was in Isaiah chapter 28 this morning and I thought I'd share with you some of the insights that I received. You know, sometimes when you're reading one portion of scripture, what happens is it leads to them thinking about other passages that you know. And those things that God gives you are just those personal gems for you. So you may not see exactly everything that I do in Isaiah 28, but I think I think if you read that passage, you'll see where I, where I gain some of these insights from, from the Lord himself. And they're encouragement to me already as I prepare for this week. For instance, in Isaiah chapter 28, I'm reminded that God is sovereign over the nations. You know, the Bible tells us in the Psalms that the nations rage, that they are proud and they're boastful against God, but God holds them in his hand and God mocks them and God uses them and God judges them. And so my fear is not of the nations, it's not of uh, politicians or it's not of movements of the world. My fear and respect is of God who controls those things, who is ultimately sovereign. So God is my sovereign God this week and I hope he's yours as well. I also read and was reminded that God alone is my king. And uh, I think about our Lord Jesus Christ who has been crowned uh, victorious. It is before him that I bow not before the kings of this earth, the boastful leaders of this earth. They will soon pass away. You know, man is frail, Isaiah says in another passage. He's like the breath, you know, it's here and then gone. But Christ is sure, Christ is forever. I was reminded that my pride and joy are in God. Or think of it this way, my pride and joy are in God's Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, pride is only wrong when we take pride in ourselves when we think we know better than God. When I confess any sins of pride, what I'm in essence saying to God is, Lord, forgive me for the places where I thought I knew better than you, or where I think I know better than you. That's sinful pride. But I take pride in my Savior, who he is and what he's done and what he's accomplished for me. I take joy, not in my circumstances, but I take joy in who Jesus is and what he's done for me and the fact that he's with me and I can trust him. Where's your pride and where's your joy? I felt God saying to me that he's my refuge and warning me not to take refuge in lies. So many people right now are looking for a place of shelter, a place of protection, and they're looking to the wrong people, they're looking to the wrong philosophies, they're looking to the wrong uh, things that the world puts out there and says, this will be your refuge. The stock market's not my refuge. The Republicans and Democrats are not my refuge. My refuge is not in some cultural philosophy, some progressive ideology. My refuge is in Christ and in his word, in his truth. And I heard God saying to me that he's a wonderful teacher. If you get to the end of Isaiah in the New Living Translation, it says that God is a wonderful teacher, and he is, if we'll listen to him, if we'll follow him, if we'll trust him. So, what is God going to say to you this week? How are you going to respond to him? I'm so thankful that God is my wonderful teacher, that God is my refuge, that God is my sovereign, that God is my king, that God is my joy, that God is my hope. It doesn't matter what happens this week. I can trust in him. I hope you'll do the same.